Hello everybody, I'm the Gaming Beaver and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Lagoon Edition. That's because we have a Monsters of the Deep to get cracking on with. And not only that, but we are going to say hello to a new addition to our park. And that is the Decasaur at level 41 of the uh, creatures that... The only one really I'm looking forward to now. I think we've got the big ones out of the way. We've got Mosasaur done. Uh, speaking of Mosasaur, let's have a quick look at them. Uh, the ones I was looking forward to seeing was, of course, Mosasaur. So there she is. Oh, beautiful, sleek, slender Mosalisa. And, of course, our demon shark himself, Megalodon. That's right. Don't forget it. Oh, it's so nice to listen to the beautiful sing-song and serenade of the Megalodon's voice. Shut up. It's not my fault I sound like this. I wasn't making fun of you, buddy. Oh. Well then, uh... Thank you. You're very welcome. And, so, what, what I'm looking forward to is this Dacosaurus. Now, it might not look like much right now, but, oh, it's so cute. You know what I miss from Jurassic Park Builder? I really do miss the uh, multiples Dacosaur. Actually, it was by himself, if I remember right. Or was it two? I, I actually can't. I know Geosaur had two. No, da Dacosaur and Geosaur shared the same animation. Oh, upside down! Wee! Oh my god. Okay, maybe your head uh, could have tilted a little bit quicker, because that looked like you snapped your neck. <laughs> So the uh, nickname for Dacosaur, if you didn't know, was the Godzilla Lizard. Uh, because the people who found it saw it had a huge skull. Um, and Godzilla stands for something. That I cannot remember. We do have three missions. We have our favorite, uh, Mr. Doug Malik Moneybags. Who uh, wants us to spend 1.7 million, basically. And Patricia Schwing, or Chwing, or Chwing, of Schwing. <laughs> evolve any carnivores to reach level 31 and we had pyroraptor to reach level 31 although we i should have put them him in overnight because i've only got seven hours so once this episode's done i'll put in pyroraptor but we're gonna need our lab open because we're about to bring back from extinction a super dacosaur not not literally super but it, it's better than the dacosaur we've got if it's a hybrid, then it will be Super Dacosaur. Um, so we have these three left in. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two more, I think. So we're going to quickly speed them up. Now, it was about 200, just under to speed them up. Um, and that is without... Yeah, as soon as they're in, it's about 179 to speed them up. So that's not amazing, but it's, you know, it's pretty cheap for what they are. And I just realized, instead of six, I think we need eight. What's kind of annoying now is I actually put in, um, Shinosaurus in for 50 bucks. And now look at it. So that brings our Dacosaur count to six. So we need two more. So now we're going to buy two more quickly. Because Dacosaur is pretty cheap. Uh, oh, it's 129 even. Wow, it does not cost much at all. That's awesome. And I can't wait to see this thing maxed up. I've got an image in my head of what it looks like, but I'm not too sure if that's exactly what it looks like. We're about to find out anyway. Um, I, I think it gets fatter. It gets, it's a bit like um, a prehistoric whale. It sounds like a TIE fighter, actually. So let's feed it one fish. That's right, only one out of... We could feed them shoals of fish, but no. Oh, and let's do another one. I, would, I just want to watch this guy's eating animation. So it's some sort of mackerel, I think. The stripes on top of it. Lead me to believe it's mackerel. Ah, yum. But if that's a mackerel, that's a pretty small dacosaur. I don't know how large dacosaur was. I'm going to say seven foot? Seven foot? You know, no, no, no. You know what we're going to do? I'm not gonna leave myself open to fire. Uh, so, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is quickly Google it. How long was it? It was about five meters. Ooh, okay, five meters. So, yeah, it wasn't too big, but like, that's one big mackerel. <laughs> so, this thing, it wasn't too big, probably about two and a half men standing on each other. 
Oh god, I've just named the show now. <laughs> man, 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 man. I used to watch that, um, ages ago, but when nothing else was on. So, you can't be too harsh on me. <laughs> I had a reason for watching it, it was sheer boredom. So it's 60 DNA and only 30 to speed up. Ooh, we get exactly halfway. Hopefully we'll get it uh, this time. Awesome! And one more. Well, two more. We're gonna do that two more times. And then we're gonna do the, uh, the level 20 two more times. Ah, oh, awesome. Yeah, that's what we want. Come on, I don't wanna drop below 10K bucks. It's so- it looks like a lot, but I can lose that 13k in an instant. <laughs> if I so pleased! Oh, I didn't feed another one. There you go. There can only be one! Ultimate- I was gonna say Kool-Aid there! Uh, Dacosol. And there we go, we have four three-star Dacosols. Beautifuls! Preciouses. Precious! Cave, which is- is it good to have a cave? Cave's good against Reef. So yeah, cave is actually good because most of the biggest hitters are, uh, surfers. So it's good to have something to counter them. Counter their weakness, which would be Reef. So there we go, level 30! Oh, gets a little bit more brown. Come on, if we can do this without dropping below 13,000. Oh, that- I tell you what, that would be a miracle now at this point. Come on! Yo! Even if I get the next one in one. Yeah, it's 47. Ooh, if we get in one, possibly. So there we go. There's a four star. It looks like a lion. Do you look like a lion? Ooh, you do. Ooh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what you look like at level 40. I hope- I think it gets some chub on it. I think. Come on, one more. Okay, one more. 13,000. I'll go below 13,000 for this one to be done. Yeah! You see, you just gotta- you gotta sweet talk the game. You gotta say, Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and speaking of how you doing, you're looking pretty good today. Was it- was it- was it that haircut or- uh, or new, uh, new- new t-shirt? Or maybe you bought yourself something nice and just raised that self-confidence a little bit higher. Either way, it could be because you're here with me. <laughs> and we'll be confident together! If anybody puts you down, guys, don't listen to them. They know not of what they speaketh. And it's only jealousy. Haters gotta hate, 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 hate. Give it up! Give it up! Ooh, nice head. It gets like a D-jaw. Or a C-jaw. It looks like a pair of pliers, actually. Oh, I didn't see how much bucks that cost me. About 200? Oh, 80. That's okay. Oh, no! I refuse to go below 2,500. I refuse to go below 600. Damn it. <laughs> I think the least now goes I can get is two. Yeah. I think there's about eight tries you can get, so here it is! A level 40. Oh, oh, it looks... Oh, wow, it's got a longer jaw. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, wow, it's got it's got a longer snout. Nice fins, a lovely sail along the back. Look at the detail of its scales on its tail. Oh, that's nice. That long tail being a powerful rudder propelling it through the water to its unsuspecting prey. See, I could be Dicky Attenborough, <laughs> and Dick is short for Richard. In case you guys didn't know, I think it's an English thing we call... It's like, um, you call, uh, William Billy, or Willie. <laughs> oh, it's got lovely dark trims on its, um, on its, uh, fins there. You see that? It's got, like, a black trim to it. Oh, beautiful. You look gorgeous. I'm liking it, and you're a good, you're quite a good moneymaker. I will- you are probably, if I had a top 10, of nicest designs, apart from the head, I think you look a tiny bit more derpy with that head, not gonna lie, nothing's ever a perfect 10 out of 10, mate, but I would say you got a quite a nice look about you. Ooh. The, yeah, I think it's the eyes, actually. I think the eyes are a little bit 
far down. They're too set down, close to the jaw. If they were lifted up a little bit, I think you could be talking to one of the prettiest prehistoric creatures in the game. I'm not gonna lie, this thing looks nice. Uh, now I've got, I've just, I've, I've actually just been complimenting it, but in the back of my head, I've got people saying, Oh, so Beaver, are you a scaly? <laughs> no, no, and don't Google it. Right, so Monsters of the Deep. I'll show you Monster of the Deep. Okay, Dacosaur. Ooh, against Liptoclitus. Oh, I didn't even realize it starts. Wow, it is a true sweeper. Oh, it's after my own heart. Full on attack. <laughs> Um, okay. Um. Ooh, it would be nerfed. It would be nerfed, so it would have a hundred and... Sixty... Four. hundred and sixty-four attack. And its health, of course, with Styxosaur getting that 50% boost. Which means Styxosaur, no matter if we go first, if we go second, it's gonna kill me. Oh, that's right! The only other creature I'm looking forward to seeing is, um, Prognathodon. That thing will look beautiful. In fact, actually, have I unlocked Prognathodon? Because... I feel like I haven't. No, I haven't. I've almost got a fully evolved popcorn, and yet I still haven't got that damn turtle. But Prognathodon, I hope that's the next one. Prognathodon, ooh, looks beautiful. It looks re- well, no, I'm not going to say beautiful, but I will say its design for level 40 looks good. It's, you know what they haven't done? Oh, yeah, so tell you what, why I like this so much. No spikes. No spikes. Yes, it's got a- you know, a little bit of a bigger sail, but it looks magnificent. Um, so now with that out of the way, before we do our battles, uh, I'm going to put in something there. And now we're, what I'm working towards is dinosaurs that I don't have level 40. Oh, sorry, prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I almost got it wrong. Um, so I have Unicorn Wizard. I have Sarkasukas ready. Uh, Carithosaur I don't have, but I'm not going to spend on putting that in the next segments. Frickosaurus I have. Um, it's legendaries we're looking for. Prime switches, microsaurus, I've got. Shunna! Ooh, god, you can hear my asthma there. Oh dear. Uh, Shunna source I do not have. So that's one, two. Um, three, four, five. I think Shunna source might be the next one. But I'm sort of equalizing it out. So we're not going to get just a level 40 Shunna source with a level 20 Dimorphodon, for example. Um, there is an Asaurus. Yeah! I put in the long- Ah, I did good there! Hey, ole! Ole, ole! So let's go. Um, Fesfoderma would get an extra 50%. You know what? Let's do it. I think popcorn by itself can do it. Because look at that! It has less attack than me, and I'm a bloomin' health tank! Sticks a saw, be disappointed! So hopefully it'll go for blocks. When I get to about eight, I'm gonna go for full on attack. Um, there is a way to predict what they're gonna do. It's not easy, but it takes some learning. In fact, it's something you pick up if you play this game a lot. So at this point, he's not gonna go for many blocks, and he doesn't. Um, goes for a lot of saves. Now he's got five, it's still not enough. Now, when they have five, it's possible, probably I'd say 80% probability, that they will go for one block for reserve. With that in mind, let's go for a full on attack. And that, my friends, is how we lose. I think, come on, no, no, we can't have lose. We can't have lost. We can't have lost. Come on! Oh, damn it! Fist for Derma! Oh, no! I get the feeling, actually, that this bot knew exactly how many turns. It would need to kill me. And it knew if it went for three block. Oh no, no, Poppycorn! I'm a Popcorn! <laughs> Damn it. To be honest, I was very outclassed. I thought I would be a bit of a Poppycock. Right, if you're gonna play that game. Um. Let's do. That. That's good, because Prognathodon. Um, is, if we gotta go first, right? So he's gonna waste two goes attacking me. Because he can kill me. He's gonna waste two goes. Oh, he doesn't! Oh my god, I forget. These are, ah, 
If I was one by myself, probably he would have went for a two attack, knowing that he could kill me. But because I've got that Chronosaur, uh, it knows it could kill me in one hit, but it might leave itself open. So, it's a little bit apprehensive. Give it credit. Um, now, we don't have the greatest of attacks. So, what I'm going to do is wait for it to get about eight. Um, and when it has eight, which it will attack now, no matter what, it's going to attack. And it goes for five. Would you believe it just somehow knew that I would go for four? You know what? I'm going to start switching up the safety. I'm going to start going for five block three reserve. Because I would have survived that. So with that out of the way, he's got three block. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, just enough. Just enough. Come on, crony. Kill it. Toss it into the furnace. Um. Oh, roly. Roly poly. Oh, that's it. We have Chronosaur's name. Roly poly crony. <laughs> He's small and smart and round. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, look at it go. Do be do be do be do. And finishes with that cool pose. So that's 300 DNA. Oh, we're below 100,000 DNA. Ha! Stocks are low, boys. Um, so that is a cave. So forgive. We're gonna go for the <laughs> Audi, I'm Keith Lemon. I'm a complete weirdo. <laughs> I'm going to say, I might annoy a lot of people in England, and for those who don't live in England, you will have no idea what I'm talking about, but I don't really care for Keith Lemon. Not at all. His bow selector was pretty funny. But apart from that, he just can't be himself. He always does characters. Uh, maybe that's his comedy? Fair dues. But me personally, I just don't really like the character. <laughs> um, there's a reason- if there's a reason why people keep hiding behind masks, it's usually a bad reason. Holy crap! I didn't see this thing's attack! Bloody hell, um, come on, Akuso, this is your time to shine. I will buy you back if you win this, buddy. So we went for five. Uh, one, two, uh, yes! Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is gonna be close. Chronosaur can probably kill me in two hits. Sorry, it can kill me in one hit. So even if it goes for three here, it's killed me. I think we've done it. I think we've done it, guys. It's possible. Now, the computer could cheat here by going for four block and then, oh nah, I don't know. I don't know, come on Dakosaur. You beautiful, majestic queen of the sea. You know what, I'm gonna say it's a princess of the sea. It's not big enough to be a queen and there's a reason why there's more princesses than queens. Because princesses are portrayed as better than queens. Queens are evil apparently. In the media anyway. So go for it! Come on you elegant princess! Ah! Ah! I am so elegant and I kill you! <laughs> oh you did beautiful! Oh that's right take your victory lap. Oh. Nice! Nice pose! Nice! You did good there, Ludius! Keyframe! Ah! Beautiful! Can't complain! It's like the best ever! So, 300. Oh, we're gonna be back over 100,000. Oh, my giddy aunt. Um... And I tell you what, guys, she's pretty guinea. Here she is now! <laughs> okay, that's enough granny. Yeah! <laughs> that's where I get my voices from. Old gram grams. Um... So, cave is... useless against me completely pretty much um i'm gonna go for good old ammonite ammonite shine ammonite shine we're gonna shine with ammonite tonight and shine tonight we will um and then i'm gonna go for liptoclitus and mosey i would have bought back dacosaur here guys but hear me out Hear me out before you scrape your peach your peach forks ah juicy peach forks <laughs> you can feed me those and uh, your uh, torches um, it wouldn't have done much here. It really wouldn't have. Um, now, I chose Ammonite because it is a health tank. But still, 
Oh, hold on, it's a level 30. Oh, that's great. I was gonna say, if it's a health tank and it can't take on a surface to hit, that doesn't make sense because it's a health tank for a reason. It should be, you know, it should be good against its, uh, even its weakness. It should at least take two hits. And at level 40, I think Ammonite would be able to take two hits. Uh, four hits on the other hand, uh, no, kind of kills it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ammonite. But that brings my tactic into fruition. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four if you're dead and one just in case. Uh, you didn't. Um, now Dunkle, Dunkle Uncle is going to come in and kill me with four. Because he, uh, actually he may not, he may not. Never mind, he does. She does. Sorry. You look beautiful. <laughs> Okay, lift the closest down. So this thing has nothing. I can kill it in two hits. So one, two, you're dead. Now, I don't think Sticks of Saw can kill me in two hits. Three, possibly. So I'm going to go for two block to reserve. Oh, look at that mouth wide open. Awake! I am awake! And I'm still here! If you didn't know that's funeral for a friend, I think it's called wide open. <laughs> I know, guys, you thought it was so amazing that I came up with my own song. Maybe next time. Come on, Mosey! To Mosey Lisa! Who am I? Eskimo kisses. And we did it! Awesome, so we win a super rare 300 DNA on top of that. Which is... which brings us over to 100,000. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get more bucks. Hopefully, reimburses for the Dacrosol. Come on, come on. Cross our fingers, cross our toes. What are we gonna get? Nobody knows until now. Oh, one book. Oh, one book pack. I'll I'll happily shake a lamb's tail of that. And that brings us to if it was a legendary, I would be tempted because we have Indominus Rex, Coolosaurus, Megalosaurus, and Antarctica Pelta. But guys, this is an aquatic episode. I was going to do one more thing. That's right. I was going to spend some money. I was going to spend some moolah. Uh, decorations. I think if things are free, then they don't count towards. And I accidentally uh, collected these and sold them. Went, then realizing that um, I need to keep these ones. So, is that not enough? Oh, no. His mission's gone. Oh, bollocks. Mr. Moneybag's has made me spend my money and then scarp it. Yo, prick! <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna leave you with, uh, we're gonna feed one of our creatures. We're gonna feed, who should we feed guys? Yell at the screen, I'm listening. <laughs> no, we're not feeding Moses, so we're feeding Prognathodon. <gasps> Let's feed it the Mako. I still think it's a Mako shark. Look at that face. It has to be a Mako. Bonosh out of nowhere comes back for the kill and yum. That shark didn't stand a chance. So guys. Oh. oh. <laughs> there it is. There's the beauty herself. The Midnight Princess. Moonlight Princess. That's what we call her. Monaco. We call her Monaco. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. Tops does not have as much attack as that. So I'm going to take this as an opportunity to kill Indominus while I have the chance. And that's awesome. Now, I did factor in two just in case. Um, oh, it's over 9,000.